I'll buy that jacket off you, bro. Is it XL? How much? 100. 150. He is doing. 180. Ah, we're still out here. No matter what. We're still out here. No. Nah. <laughs> ah, I love it. Man. What's going on, people? We're in Brick Lane. And the beautiful thing is, we're still out here. It's Poland Vu. I'm still wondering. Come we're still on. Outside. You know, stay safe and that. But, you know, maybe this is the Matrix and we're actually inside. Uh, Did you hear so Boris Johnson? What do you say? He said he's still out here shaking hands. My brother! <laughs> no, well, I, well, Victoria, I can tell you that I, 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 I'm shaking hands continuously. I was, at a, I was at a hospital the other night where and I shook hands with everybody. Come on, man. <laughs> Touch up, fam. Boris Johnson really said, yeah, some of your, some of your you know, close ones are going to die, but we keep it moving. Yeah, come on, fam. My yes, G. bro, come on. Stay My wondering. G. We stay wondering. We stay wondering. Man. You know, here, controversial man. statements. Can't say I, I agree with the statements, but no. at least he's honest. He's just telling you where he stands, and you can see it as well. He's out. He's out. Do you know what? I like him. I like him, man. Yeah, I can't say I like him, but <laughs> I can say that he's got some strange opinions, and and you know, I like but him, but man. I try not to get reactive. You know when people say stuff this, that's controversial. To me, don't react. It's a television show. It's it's Truman Show. And I love television shows. But there's shows. no Truman out here. Think about the Joker. If he yeah. was a real life person in life, I wouldn't like him. But as a as a show. I love him. Mm. I don't really know much about politics, so I just look at it as a show. And, and it's kind of funny, man. People like grown adults shouting in a massive house, come to conclusions. House of common, but no one's got nothing in common. It's mad. It's, it's fucking crazy. And you want me to get angry about that? With I, coronavirus? No, nah, man. Oh, come on, we, got right some, out here. we got some pre comments, a bit of foreplay no. uh, to oil you up before we go into what the hell? All, all of the week's football slash non football great football answer show. Poet says, I know Tony Davids, but I still call him more David as he sits next to David and calls himself Vuj, calls him Vujal video. I love semen, Poet 2020. Poet is a homosexual confirmed. <laughs> Over 70s might be banned from games to get to coronavirus. Pilots will be playing without Roy on the touchline. Well, no one's playing. Even when coronavirus makes everyone stop staying indoors, Poet and Vuj will still be here on the streets because we belong to these streets. Um, biggest L of 2020 goes to the two Americans who travelled to Europe just for the Dortmund Schalke game to be put, the game to be uh, played behind closed doors and it was cancelled. The two boys that came on the show, the Wanderers, they oh. came here. But it was, it's all Liverpool. Atletico Madrid obviously beat Liverpool. Yes. Absolute madness. Focus on the positives. Well um, done, son. I pull my pull, I pulled out my pants and put my schmeet away to listen to the man and talk about football. Grace will ask the show in the history of time. Liverpool will lift the PL title and close doors due to coronavirus. Coronavirus is the only thing that can make Poet Madrid go inside. And no, we're still out here and we just got news euro 2020 has been postponed till euro 2021 we are all going through something they're gonna make a netflix special on this shit you know like you go through to the black death and the spanish flu or wherever it was and like, we're in a moment like that it's like a gerard slip against chelsea like nah, these are it's things better than that these are things that are going to be remembered forever. Ever. Obviously, I hope you lot are staying safe and yes. you're taking care of your loved ones. Yes. And, you know, staying positive because there's a lot of fear out there. A lot of people are buying toilet paper, even though potentially, I'm not saying it is, I think food might be a bit more important than tissue paper. That's what I think. Because I went hey. to the aisle in Sainsbury, there's no tissue paper. I go to the food aisle, there's bare food. I just think people got a lot of shit on their mind, so they got to clear it up. And, and, you know, not to, not to rub it in, but you can also wash your bum. Just saying. I'm just saying, I don't think tissue paper is that important when you've got a left hand, you've got a right hand, you've got a shower, you might have a B-Day if it's your B-Day. You put the water, you press it, it goes into your bum, you do this, and the poo washes out and you don't even need tissue paper. So uh, I think that's I, a better way. I think that's the one positive about everything that's happening is that people are going to learn how to wash their bums. So we you know what? Be, this show, we look at the positives. This is what I remember, and this is why I love London. I love it. Five months ago, I remember walking in McDonald's. I went for a wee wee. I washed my hands, and two guys went for a. Came out of that. Two guys got one and cup. walked straight out. Didn't wash their hands, uh, and now all of a sudden, because you hear your life might be on the line. You want to wash your hands, you dirty bastards. Should have washed your hands five months ago. You, know you what? might be in a different place right yeah, now. You know what it is? It's not that I, it's not that I shower all the time, which I don't. <laughs> but one thing I do is wash my hands. Dude. I don't shower a lot, but I wash my hands. Every time I, I, I enter the yard, every time, I, every time I enter the yard, I wash my hands. Ooh. You, so you hands say all... ooh, but I say ah. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I'm just saying, that's how I am. Anyway. Cantona, like, ooh, oh, Cantona. Bro. Yes. 
Come on. Just, come on, bruv. Yeah, man. Yeah, so yeah, Euros is cancelled. Euro 2021, it's, it's a historic moment. I have no clue. I have no clue. Honestly, I have no clue what's going on. You know, I just have no clue. So I don't really have a comment to pass. What do you guys think, man? What do you think about the Euros cancelled? Yeah, who cares, man? Yeah. I mean, if old people are going to die and people that, you know, have weak immune systems, the euro should be the last thing on your mind. But if it's the first thing on your mind, it means there's no people that are old around you. So maybe you should keep that on your mind. There's no one else to think about. I totally don't know what the hell you just said. Never do what but, I. Um, I feel like there's been so much fear mongering in yeah. general over the years, 10 years by the media that, you know, you're going to take precautions, but let's just take, let's just chill. Like, you know, we don't, don't rush to the toilet paper aisle, wash your bum, like maybe take some time to get to know your parents, you know, get, get, you know, take some time to maybe not, not chill with your grandparents, but call them. I'm saying like, find out what your dad likes to do in his spare time, apart from masturbate. Do you know what I mean? Like, get to know people around you, call your friends. Yeah. I think it's a good time to, to reflect as well. Yeah. Potentially meditate a little bit. I'm gonna look at the positive in that way. And I've been training for this for two years. Obviously, the Balkan Wars happened. That was my pre-training when I was a kid. Yeah, I think I've done the same. I feel sorry for a lot of the rappers in the scene because you can't. it's not really the same popping a bottle in your house at a table. My rate damn shack, I mean, only so many times you can probably dance in your bedroom for a month. Yeah, man, some people's content's going to be shit, but I'll still be out here with views on these streets doing this show. But I'm trying to spread a positive message apart from the banter. You know, man, <laughs> just take it easy. Do what you feel that's right for you. Yeah, man. You know. And keep wearing masks, get creative with your masks. Get creative really with like masks. Them. But shout out, you know, I hope, Arte good time, man. hope Arteta gets better. I yes. hope that Callum hudson Odoi gets better He's as well. He's recovered in three days, man. I mean, there's some wise words from, from Rooney, uh, obviously one of the greatest spokespeople this in the world This is one of, of the greatest things that's happened. Rooney has put on a turtleneck. Yep. Like Dapper laughs that one time on Channel 4. And please also take a look at the photo. Look at the photo of Wayne Rooney, he really looks, good. He looks good. And he's saying that we shouldn't have been treated like guinea pigs over coronavirus, lives are at risk. And that football showed the lack of leadership. Uh, I mean, now it's all canceled. So I think they, they've got the message that they don't want this thing to spread. So yeah, fair enough. But I just love that he's wearing a turtleneck. I think he looks cute. I like his beard. Um, I think he's become really, he's, he's the like a wine. That, he's become better with age. Bro, now, like, and now I can see why his missus stuck around. Bro, we're, li looking lad. we're living in a mad time. Rooney's become a writer with a turtleneck. <laughs> we're still out here on the streets. As you can see, the quarantine's working really well. People are still out here. Cesc Fabregas has gone absolutely Cesc crazy. Cesc Fabregas on his balcony going mad. Good morning, my neighbors! Hey, you! Yes! Yes! <laughs> you too! Ah, uh, the man times them. are crazy. Mom, Gigi, you say it, fam. Isolation, yeah? Isolation, yeah? yeah. My brother, sanitizer, my jeez. <laughs> oh, man, in Denmark. you got to laugh, because... You have to. You know, there's only one, I feel like that's... My G. In, in, in desperate times, there's only one thing left, and that's laughter. Shout out to Copper 19 as well. Um, <laughs> there are also um, some solutions for the Premier League about how it could be handled. God. So what do we do, guys? You let us know. Do we um, declare the league table to be final? Liverpool win the league. Or move matches into the summer, which might be happening, it seems like. Or do we void the season? The thing is, can you move a match into the summer? Because if I play for a team and my contract's out on the 30th of June and the game's at the 15th of July, I'm sorry, I'm just not involved. No, I'm out of contract. Overtime. It's overtime. Overtime? overtime? You can't make the rules now. <laughs> I don't know what they got to do, but I'm just saying I'm a stubborn bastard. I would say, big man, that's not my concern. You know what I do? Nor am I summer. You know what I do for the absolute shithousery of it all? Go I avoid on. the season. Just for the absolute shithousery, obviously, you know, I support Leeds and Liverpool, they're my teams, but just for the storyline, just, just for the memes and for the people that are going to take the piss out of me, I would do it. That would Listen. create so much content that I'd have to laugh. And gang, I'd, gang, how are you, bro? You are right? I'd say void the season. That, that's my favorite favorite solution. Personally, I'd, I'd void the season. Yeah. Ah, who cares about the rights? But I was there in 2011 or 12 when it was. I'd, void the season. I'd void it. Then Bruno Fernandez has to go back. <laughs> and I, yeah, guess what? <laughs> I'm spinning around. I've been very, very honest with you. I don't know what contribution I have to make to this show, but I can tell you everything's gone to shit. I hear you. Every like it shows everything. you how 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 vulnerable we are as a society and as human beings that this thing, corona, coronavirus.com, whatever you think about it or believe, believe about it, has come in and it stopped the football. Yep. It stopped the tennis. Everything. It stopped travel. People are on their balconies in Italy singing songs. 
how vulnerable we are. One little thing and everything's gone to shit. So I don't know, man. I think that there's deeper messages in this. But I think once, once again, as I said, we got to look at the positive. And one is that we get to know ourselves a bit more, get to know our loved ones a bit more and try and really take care of the people around us. I always tell you, Ajay. If you think we're shit, if you think we're good, tell me. It's What's this? Let's check it out. My record label. That's oh. lit. What's it? What, what is it, Instagram? Then? And I have another yeah. one. Huh? Astray Records. Yeah, man. Yeah, Astray want, Records, fam. You're starting out, yeah? Serious? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's lit, there's no rules. Go leave yeah. some love on the Astray Records page. Yeah. On the Instagram, for sure. Big up, bro. Take love, fam. Take, take you, have a good you, one, yeah. Love you too, bro. Honestly, yeah. I forgot what I was going to say, so who gives a shit anyway, man? That's this, it. That's what I was going to say. This has furthered my belief that the most intelligent people on planet Earth are under the age of 25. Because everyone over the age of 25 has just, not everyone, but in general, like exaggeration, innit? It's just monkey see, monkey do. No one even knows why they want loads of loot paper, but they're all doing it. And it's people older than me and Vooch. So I don't want to listen to you lot no more. I and think, I see loads of people buying like hand sanitizer. I think and, we need calm. Just we relax. need peace, calm, relax, man. Netflix has uh, so many options, like, Bear. just relax. Wash your bum with your hand. Premiership years has relax. come back on to replace games as well. Uh, and do some research, like, actually do research, do research into what's going on, so that way you know how to prepare. Yeah. I think everyone's just looking at everyone else, watching some things on Twitter. Go and copy the under 25s. They're actually giving some really good information on my timeline. You know what I do? Educating me. You I go like I go to all Jarring. the sources. So I go to the, to the I go to the mainframe. I look at like the news outlets and stuff. I'm like, all right, you lot are saying this. Yeah. Then I go completely left field. Yeah. And I look at stuff like David Icke. <laughs> yeah. He's on his tin foil tacting, isn't it? <laughs> so I look at him. He's going to give you a completely different opinion. Then I look at a bit of Twitter and Instagram, which people are just regurgitating what they've heard. Yeah. And then I go, let me go somewhere in the middle. Where'd you go? Just somewhere in the middle. Because like, they probably example. won't be completely right. These guys won't be completely right. And I go, look, maybe it's like this. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Like, this isn't new information. This isn't like, oh my God, like, this is not algebra. This is just something you do when you, your hands are dirty, you wash them. Um, but poet, uh, one, one thing I have to do is shout out to the Napoli fans singing. Singing a song, it's beautiful, you can hear it like all over the city. They said 7.45, we're gonna sing like our, our, our football chants. Oh, if you're- It's fucking beautiful. So the one with the gigs music over it wasn't real? That one wasn't, it wasn't gigs music. Then Alhan oh. tweeted, what song you think everybody would sing on their balconies in London? And yeah, let us know, what would you be singing in London? I think talking the hardest is definitely the one, or 21 seconds. Ooh! 21 seconds would, would snap as well. That would go off. There are people uniting as well. Lazar Markovic, because you know, he has no football team Tiny to go Tempest to. new song? Tiny Tempest got a new song, go check it out. Lazar Markovic leaving no, a uh, sign on his door in his flat. Saying if anyone needs any help, knock on my door and you know I'll try and Mark do my best. On that. Obviously, if you need help from me and Poet, don't holler us. Uh, we probably won't be of much use. I mean, I want to help. I genuinely have every intention of helping. And then there's a big debate, you know, as we've been talking about it throughout the show. The big debate is toilet toilet roll or washing your bum. What do you reckon? What's your favourite? Maybe what, somewhere what in the middle. And that's why I rate all my Muslim brothers. Because all my Muslim brothers, they don't care about the tissue paper thing. They've been washing their bum, clean bums forever. And it's all us the dirty people that are worried about toilet paper. Smooth. Man, everyone, just stay safe. Whatever you want to do in life, do it. Stop panicking. What uh, do we growing do? Growing up in the hood, it was worse than this. What do we do, like? <laughs> Much worse. Oh. Coronavirus was actually in your face. Oh, We're strapped. Uh, what do we do, like? You know, what do you guys want from us over the next four weeks? Oh, shit. You know, to talk about on the Mondays. So what do we do? Questions? You guys want us to answer any of your questions? I forgot to put some in. I know you guys left some already. So ask Poet and Vooj. Um, yeah, I think we've reached the end. It's all mad right now. Come on, Klopp. Klopp, 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 Klopp yeah, has I've come. You've been here for a while, huh? He, you uh, haven't. You haven't. All right. What the hell? Aggression. Stop hitting black people. Like... <laughs> on, what are you saying, look. Klopp? Oh, that's racist. Oh, I can hear black and white people, yellow, brown. Exactly. Oh, so Sorry, aggressive, man. What are you man. saying, Klopp? What's your vibe? What's your vibe? I, I'm really chill. 
Yeah. I'm really chuffed. I got uh, AstroTurf in the garden. Nice. So That's now lit. I can have football games when they not don't let me go out and play five a side and stuff. That's nice. nice. So I can have my own little football games. Nice. Uh, what other things been happening? Morpheus got robbed. Morpheus. Bastard. Uh, oh, your office, so shit. Yeah, Morpheus got robbed. That's why I haven't been here for a while. Rude, idiot, by the way. Yeah, club's yeah. office got robbed. Possibly, yeah. but. A anyone uh, heard about some uh, IMAX going cheap? <laughs> They're probably from my office, so tell us. Other than that, yeah, I think it's a good shout out. What do you guys want us to do? Yeah. So, we guys hanging around, and we're going to just uh, create some. Cool and, you know, support your, support your local businesses. Yeah. You know, fucking yeah. buy local if you have any money left by the end of all this. Um, yeah, I guess we'll take away coffee. Takeaway coffees, you know what I'm saying? Like, go to your boss man's shop, fucking. Talk to everyone. Buy merchandise, buy. Show animals. love. If there was ever a time to show a bit of love, it's show love. now, man. So, I think the thing with Italian singing, you know, they can obviously sing. Yeah. So, don't shout off out your window or balcony if you can't sing, because that's just fucking ugly, right? Yeah. <laughs> did you see a guy did it in Wales and somebody just went, shut the fuck up? <laughs> Oh, is that why Cesc Fabregas was shouting from his balcony? Oh. You see the guys playing tennis as well in Italy. Yeah. There's jokes. Is it? There's two guys like throwing up, just doing that between two windows. Oh, serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, man, fuck. Leave your questions and we'll be back probably next Monday. Great Super Dance Show. Probably not talking about football because there's no football school. We'll about. find something like the Icelandic league or some shit. I don't know. I heard in 10 days' time anyway, it is like quarantine. Quarantine thing, we've got to go inside. Yeah, but then we just uh, make content uh, to and from each other. Oh. Shout out to Ronaldinho. Shout out to Ronaldinho. Man's, <laughs> man's in pen and he's scoring goals, still winning trophies. He don't care, bro. Shout out Ronaldinho, bro. Ronaldinho, Dino. Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho had a fake passport. That is the, this is the age we live in. Rooney's writing articles, Ronaldinho is in pen winning trophies. Let me We're still on the street, I'm fit. I, I love Britain. I have nothing I to say anymore. I love, I just love Guys, people. anything is possible. Stay safe. We love you. Have a nice and enjoy.